Hello and welcome to The Big Game, coming to you from Henson Park, the home of Newtown, and from where today the Jets meet up with the Bears of North Sydney. 1981 is proving a good year for both clubs, with Newtown only two points out of the five, and Balmain, Manly, Penrith, Canterbury and Souths can certainly vouch for Newtown's improved form this year, while the Bears have just last weekend completed a demolition of Manly, went within a point just one week earlier of beating Eastern Suburbs, and it's only about three weeks ago they put Parramatta away in a match down at Cumberland. So to say the very least, it should be a good match as John Coots looks at the teams and Peter Peters joins us for the big game between the Bears of North Sydney and the Jets of Newtown. Well, first onto the field is the home side, the high-flying Newtown Jets, who have won their last four games and a Tooth Cup match with that combination. It remains unchanged today. The man to watch in particular, or the men to watch in particular, the half 5-8 combination of Ken Wilson and Phil Sigsworth. There's Kenny Wilson, the veteran match winner, who after more than a decade in first grade has suddenly become a glamour player for Newtown. A great goal kicker and highly accurate kicker in general play. The North Sydney Bears, the giant killers again last weekend when they defeated Manly in the wet. They've had a few changes made to that winning combination. One man they'll sorely miss is John Gray, but 5'8 Fred Arcoy returns. He and fellow Kiwi Mark Graham are expected to have a big impact on this game this afternoon. There's a scoreline from their matches last year. The Jets, 17 to 8 and 25 to 5. Referee for this match is John Gosher. He's uh, lost the top ranking. Back to the number two match this weekend. Greg Hartley back ranked as number one referee at the moment. The Jets at home today before uh, not a big crowd, probably around about four to five thousand, I suppose. It's not the easiest ground in the world to estimate crowds at. It's a huge place, Henson Park. I've often thought to myself what it would look like with um, uh, cover around the entire circumference of this uh, magnificent uh, sports arena. It would be certainly something else. So there it is, the uh, start of this showdown between the Bears and the Jets and uh, from the kickoff over the dead ball line. And so the tap will be taken by Barry Jensen. The bearded Barry Jensen. And the bearded Graham O'Grady at dummy half. Stephen Blythe from the Magpie. And Wilson decides he's going to get out of the 22 zone with that kick, which is back on the North Sydney goal line. Alan Smith playing in 14 for them, the replacement for their fullback, Parsons. That man is Brockwell. And uh, this is Richie. McKinnon. Yep. How surprising it is that North Sydney weren't waiting for that kick from Wilson because I believe uh, Ron Willey's instructed them. He's one man they have to watch carefully all day today. And as you can see, he's gained 50 to 60 metres. North Sydney caught napping. So Graham, the grub kick for touch, turning Newtown around and giving them a little bit of their own treatment. And uh, the touch judges indicated that the ball went over the touch line a couple of metres on the Newtown side of the halfway. I would have thought it was uh, just the North Sydney side of halfway, which changes the halfback feed, I might add. Second row feed against Wilson. We'll play the big game tonight again for $500 cash and don't forget all entries stay in to the uh, mammoth end of season draw for the Tynan Mazda. Tynan Motors down at Sylvania putting up a 3-2-3 Mazda for the end of season prize valued at just over six and a quarter thousand dollars. But $500 in cash tonight for you. McKinnon. The way the races have been going so far today I think Peter Peters will have about 20 entries in. This is Jerd.
Graham. Stephen Blythe in 10. He's called the axe. Jert again. Where is it? Alan Smith in possession. And six more, says referee John Gosher. Yes, Ken Wilson went for the intercept and touched the ball. This is Arcoy, rated in England. I don't know about anywhere else, as the uh, world's best 5 8. That man is Adam. That's Keith Harris. Picked up by Simon Brockwell. Good football. Tackler was Sigsworth. Number nine is Keith Harris for the Bears. That's McKinnon. That's Brockwell. And North Sydney are 12 metres out from the Newtown line. McCaffrey, he bombed Manly last week. They're all offside, those North Sydney players. Are they? Most definitely offside. Well, if they were offside, he was entitled to give a penalty. Yes. Because this is certainly no advantage to Newtown the way he's ruled. Let's see it. Uh, well, we may be flirting with danger, but here is the bomb. No, I disagree with you, Pete. No, I thought a couple of them were offside, but uh, I must admit, Ray, they didn't look at there in the replay. OK, so we've been known to disagree before. Pobg, good run by Pobg. 12 metres out from the 22 line. Five is Blacklock and a penalty against Arcoy. I thought for a moment he might have been treading grapes. I decided he'd found a new way to crush a few grapes there. OK, so Ken Wilson will kick for touch. Nice kicker of the ball. And this tap is 10 metres, the bare side of the halfway. Up goes Bowden. Jurd and Richie making the tackle. Wilson, Sigsworth, a step. Keith Harris there with his tackle. Solid tackler, Keith Harris. That man is Mike Pittman. Ten metres out from the quarter. Wilson. Bugden's pass will... He said play on. That's Hetherington. North have stood off him. It's going to be a try, is it? Ferguson into the corner. Well, what... Uh... I think a North Sydney player touched that ball which allowed Ferguson to, um, to carry on with that movement and referee goes you well in line. We'll see it here on the replay. The ball goes from Kenny Wilson and there's the pass. Picked up, allowed to play on. There's Gosher waving his hands to clear it. Now here's the part where uh, the pass from Mick Ryan over the top. No, rule to sort of bounce sideways by the uh, referee and Ferguson has gone over for the try. Head on, John Coots. Well, I think Newtown will be considering themselves fairly lucky after that because it's a, an application of play the whistle rule. There's the loose ball. It came off uh, Arcoy's shoulder for mine, John. That's what it looked like. But Newtown have certainly carried on with the job. This pass is a bit wild from Mick Ryan out to the uh, to Ferguson, but there the wide open spaces there. Yes, it, uh, it went back. And uh, I think from that replay, the head-on showed that Gosher was correct in two decisions there that he had to make on the spot, and uh, it was a fair Newtown try. Yeah, I must admit, I thought for a moment, uh, actually when bugged and threw it, I thought, oh, gee, he's, he's just throwing that and hope for the best. But looking at it on the head-on, uh, John, it looks like it's come off Arcoy's shoulder. That's what I think has happened, yep. And so right. they're entitled to six more tackles, and they've taken them on. They only needed, they didn't even need one. Wilson's kick, just wide. So Newtown lead by three points to nil. A restart. This is Pobgy coming back. Just inside the 22. Bowden. My goodness, when you look at the Newtown reserve grade props and then see the first grade props, they've got some size, haven't they? They certainly have. Blacklock from the right wing out on the left, giving the ball down to Ferguson, but it's a knock-on. 
They've certainly got a raving commission, these two Newtown wingers. Uh, that's nine tries now in uh, three and three games and five minutes. So uh, they're certainly putting on the tries. Mark Graham in the back play there. You can see number 10 for Norse injured. Wilson playing it to O'Grady. That's Pittman. Good player, Pittman. Ten metres short of halfway. Graham still receiving attention. To his right leg. Now Wilson. Sigsworth. That's a knock-on. If Newtown get it, it's North's ball. Play on, says referee Gosher. McKinnon. Stephen Blythe, hungry for work. Brockwell. Graham hobbling around there in the back. You can see him on that right angle. He uh, right ankle. He limps. That's Shepherd. Jerd going without. Yes, he was looking up here at us. Uh, Jerd really uh, didn't have his eye on that ball at all. It's not the first time we've uh, seen Stan go through, and he just doesn't seem interested in the pass unless it's perfectly placed on his chest a little bit low he doesn't seem to make much of an effort to get down for it now Wilson the switch and good quick hands to Ferguson he's beaten Shepard he stepped inside of the lock forward Burns He's beaten another, that was Alan Smith, and that's been a mighty run by Ferguson, breaking down five metres out from the corner. He beats three of them, though, point blank. Yes, and there's Ferguson on screen. That was a great run up the left-hand uh, touchline. Ferguson, uh, 27 now, and uh, a young player to be playing in Sydney for the first time from Glen Innes, and uh, he played for country a few seasons ago, and uh, full marks to Newtown. He's their 13th import, and 13's turned out lucky for the Jets. Bad mistake, Sigsworth, uh, I think he's a... No referee, Ghosh has ruled a knock-on against him too. Let's see that uh, from Sigsworth. Uh, he's indicated that he knocked on, but this scrum is going down very close to the, to the line. Head-on would have revealed whether there was a knock-on or not. Obviously there was, that's the way Ghosh ruled. Now that's Keith Harris. McKinnon. McCaffrey. Akoi. Adam. Brockwell. Mick Ryan, the tackler, in three. Jerd flung to the ground, and that's the end of six tackles against the Bears. So this scrum will go down 12 metres on the north side of halfway, with Newtown three, north yet to score, where 20 minutes gone first half. Akoi, put down by Sigsworth. That's Burns. McKinnon. And it's a Newtown ball. Mick Ryan's got it. Now Hetherington. O'Grady. Pobji. Ferguson. Wilson. Mark Graham in that tackle. Indicating that uh, he might be nearly back to uh, 
And that one. 100%, yes. Jensen, Sigsworth, they're on their own. Now Blacklock. And that is Hetherington. Correction, Ryan. Wilson. Well, he, oh, he he's fired. <laughs> Six inches, I think he's missed by. Yes, not much. That's, oh. that's, that's bad kicking, Ken. <laughs> North Sydney finding the halfway mark carted across from the Sahara. They really have only been into North uh, into Newtown Territory really once when they were close to the uh, the Jets try line. But other than that, they've been pinned deep in their territory. McKinnon. North just out of the five at the moment. Newtown actually lying in about third spot. Arcoy. He's got plenty of toe. He's picked up Adam. Oh, and Luckman has put it down. They've crossed the Sahara. A Grady. Sigsworth. It's Big Bugden, the Rothmans medal winner from last year. Some gap out the left if Newtown can keep it going that way. Wilson. Pittman. Shepard the tackler. Wilson. Blythe. Again, Shepard makes the tackle. Wilson, Sigsworth. So three nil still in favour of the Jets. 23 minutes gone, first half. Jensen winning another scrum. Wilson, Sigsworth. Sigsworth! He's got one to beat. A chip over the fullback's head. Hetherington's going fast. Hetherington's lost it on the way down. Short of the line. Luckman comes away with it for the, uh, the Bears of North Sydney. Good enterprising football by uh, Newtown. That's good play by Sigsworth. And uh, unfortunate, Hetherington just couldn't hang on. North now. Burns. Taken the ground just outside his quarterway line. In the big game last weekend, we asked the question regarding the Western Suburbs second rower. His name was Bob Cooper, and the winner of the $500 in cash was Michael Shaw of Hood Street at Yaguna. Michael Shaw of Hood Street at Yaguna is $500 richer for being our winner in the big game last Saturday from Lidcombe. We'll be playing the big game again during this match for 500 beautiful dollars in cash, plus a chance of winning the Tynan 3-2-3 Mazda. The purists wouldn't like the way Newtown are playing this game, but they're certainly playing dividends because uh, their, their right winger and their left winger are rarely more than 15 yards away. I've never seen it before in a game, but Blacklock is um, out in the centres. He, he's very rarely on his right wing, and he's more times than not shaking hands with uh, John Ferguson, who's made a lot of breaks. O'Grady now on tackle number five, so obviously it's the seven who'll kick. That's him. And that's a good bomb by Wilson, a fraction deep. And Alan Smith did well to take it. And then it went uh, ricocheting out over the, uh, the dead ball line. Mark Harris warming up on the bench. And I think you'll find that Simon Brockwell, who was injured a few moments ago, may come off. Although uh, Harris uh, only had one game back now from, uh, from four weeks off. Our last big game at North Sydney against West was the last time he appeared in first grade football or any football for that matter. 
Gee, these line dropouts are, are ordinary from yeah, north. That's Frankfurt stuff, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. They're about 22 metres in length. The, the dropouts, not the Frankfurts. 10 metres from the north line now. Bowden plays it. Now Wilson. Now Blythe. Jensen. A couple of foils. Picks up Bugden. Three metres. Oh, he's knocked on, has he? Well, I don't know about Bugden. He's taken it up a few times and I, he's, he's figured in at least three occasions now where the ball has been turned over to the opposition or a scrum. And the penalty goes now from the scrum to Newtown. Incorrect feed against McCaffrey. Now, Wilson. Wilson's going to kick it backwards uh, to get more depth in the attack. So they'll take the tap from 15 metres out instead of 5 metres out. Hmm. Jensen taking it. Wilson. O'Grady's popped it to Ryan. Oh, beautiful football. PUBG has scored for the Jets. Oh, that's, that's great football. And Kenny Wilson uh, put a lot of depth into their play in this Newtown side. Good luck to them. They're not playing the game by the by the textbooks, but they're certainly introducing some uh, pace and pep and thought into their game. And we saw this set move from the tap, and there's the wall going up. There's the man with the ball. Number three, Michael Ryan. He made the bust, split the defence, and straight over for a try, a caviar try against some Frankfurt defence. Well, that certainly answers the question, too, why uh, Newtown came back that extra few yards that they needed. They yeah. needed the time to cover that distance and set up that move and how well they've done it. Well, they're thinking about their game, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. I mean, Blacklock, uh, the right winger, has not been in position for the entire game, as a right winger should be. But right. he's made plenty of breaks on the other side of the field where his uh, teammate, John Ferguson, is running right. Yeah, he mightn't be able to do it against East, so one of those clubs, do you think? Oh, East are a, a top club. They've got a few Rolls-Royce players in that club. Wilson with the attempted conversion from right in front. And there's your scoreline changing over. Newtown are leading by eight points to nil. 29 minutes gone, first half. McCaffrey, Arcoy. Burns. Oh, he strolled down through a big gap. And he's taken it to five metres out from the 22. Sigsworth having to make the tackle. McKinnon. But now North not assembling quickly enough after Burns had made a good break for them. Now they're set. Left and right and deep. Arcoy. Tackler, uh, tackler was um, their 11, Bugden. Jurd. Ooh, got that left arm up a bit high. McCaffrey, Graham, Harris. I don't know about Mark Graham. I'm not prepared to, to criticise him at this stage because that ankle injury earlier on mightn't be helping him, but... My God, we haven't seen much of him. No, not today we haven't. It's not the same methodical attack about North Sydney that there is about Newtown when they get in a scoring position. Oh, I should think so. Penalty against Ken Wilson. Fair dinkum. That was behind the lock forward. Yes, and even allowing for Ken's contact lenses. Uh, you know, oh. that was a second row job. That wasn't cheating, that was grand larceny. So the differential penalty. Here's the chance for the Bears. McKinnon. See that number 10 around the legs again? Blythe. Here goes Jerd. Oh, gee. 
There it is again. I don't want to be overcritical of Stan Jer, but unless you give it to him, right where he can take it, I don't know, the bloke just seems to lose sight of it. He might be a very good footballer. In fact, the Dally M's show that he, he's had some good games, but every time we've seen him, he just seems to lose sight of the pass. This is no excuse for that, that close to the opposition line when they are mounting an attack. You know, you can get a bad pass, but you're entitled to make some kind of an attempt to grab it. Blacklock! That's uh, Hetherington. Oh, I was about to say if he sees some open space, they won't round him up. But it was a good tackle by the little man McCaffrey, was it? Yes, it was. And uh, Blacklock there, the uh, the right winger, found him set, found his centre, Hetherington, outside him. This uh, Warren Ryan, the new-down coach, has got uh, the Jets with a roving commission. Here's Blacklock. <laughs> Here's there Blacklock. Blacklock. There goes Blacklock. Norths have got the ball. Mark Graham in possession. McKinnon. Graham. Oh, no, he can't run at all with that ankle, I'd say, uh, John. Mark Graham. I think that's the first time he's had the ball since he injured it, and he made no attempt to run with it. Jerd, taken by Bowden. Oh, he should come off, Graham. It's just senseless. They're mm. virtually playing one man short. McCaffrey's kick for touch is too far in field. Pobgy's got, well, today and tomorrow's to pick it up. And uh, didn't do as well as I thought he might have done. Pobgy there. He's only 10 metres out. Ferguson. He's a crowd pleaser, this kid, isn't he? He's outside the 22. Kid, you're only about three years older than him. Really? He's 27. My goodness. Late starter. Sigsworth. Well, let's just say he's been well preserved then, uh, Peter. Yes, in the pickle jar. Wilson. That's uh, Stephen. Oh, Stephen Blythe put it down, but uh, recovering for them was uh, Bowden. Burns is injured for the Bears, and timeout. What's, what's happening here? He's going to try and hang on for Graham till maybe half time and give uh, his replacement player an extra five and the half time break to uh, to get to get ready. I'm surprised Graham hasn't declared himself unfit. There's obviously no way he can continue. That, that injury won't recover if it hasn't already done so. Four penalties have been given by Newtown. They've all been the differential penalty. Now then, Richie is number 15. Oh, dear, dear. <laughs> Oh, isn't that dreadful? They've lost the ball completely, but it's got to clear the two men contesting to play the ball. And he's going to put a scrum down. Well, isn't that awful? On the tap penalty, they put it down, and on the contest of the play of the ball, it doesn't clear the area. Yes, I think uh, young Richie there was <laughs> completely conned by uh, his much more experienced opposite, Barry Jensen, who uh, deliberately stuck, struck in the play of the ball, and... Uh, and he caught young Richie napping. There's no favourites in first grade, son. Blythe. Tackler McKinnon. Jensen's given it to Ferguson, he's got one to beat, he's beaten Smith and it gave Keith Harris enough time to pick him up from behind. Wilson, Sigsworth, O'Grady, Ryan, shows it, turns it, Bugden back on the switch but it's a bad pass, booted through by Mark Graham. Blacklock can't take it, now he can. And referee... Gosher has ruled a knock-on quite rightly.
Ferguson has certainly given Alan Shepard a tough time on that left-hand flank today. Eight nil. Two minutes from half time. McKinnon. National Panasonic and Electronic Sales and Rentals makes our Man of the Match award available on a Saturday. In fact, on every day that we're on air with the uh, the Rugby League. Magnificent prize. The most valued weekly prize in Rugby League, I'd uh, suggest. Oh, He's do it again. Oh, jeez. I better not say any more. I think I've said it all. O'Grady. O'Grady. He's picked up Jensen. He's having a big game, Jensen. He's winning the scrums and running like a back. Not very fast, but he's running. Sigsworth. O'Grady. That's Blacklock. He's out in the centres there again. He's picked up Hetherington. Hetherington stops, props, comes back in field, picks up Blacklock. No, he doesn't. He's been poleaxed from behind without the ball. Well, he's given possession to North. I would have thought that Newtown were entitled to a penalty. They certainly were on that occasion. Some stumbling and fumbling going on out there at the moment. Yes, uh, just before half time. Newtown really uh, should be a lot further in front than they are. They've had several uh, breaks that uh, could have led to tries and probably should have. Uh, that last desperation pass. Maybe this new fancy Dan tag they've uh, got doesn't suit the battling Newtown Jets, but uh, they're certainly uh, well on top in this game. That's against Jensen for feet across, so another differential penalty goes to North Sydney. Coming up to the break. The Newtown tries by Ferguson at the 6th minute. Pobgy at the 28th minute. Ken Wilson has kicked one out of two. North's yet to score. The scrums favouring Newtown 8-6. The penalties favouring North's 5-3. And the scoreline at half-time. Newtown 8. North Sydney yet to score. So the start now of the second half. Newtown... Coming out after the break, leading by eight points to nil, and this is Alan Burns. Big Burns surprise again. to see Mark Graham back on the field, Ray. He uh, didn't look good in the first half. His right knee's heavily strapped. He's probably had a, a needle at half time. McCaffrey, McKinnon, and they're on the halfway now. Graham's kick across to centre Adam, who turns it back inside to Luckman, and on it goes to Brockwell. Back it goes now to the centre Adam, and that is a try. Well, what a freakish, what a freakish try. Yes, and it all started way back near the halfway mark where Graham, I think, missed kicked the ball. It looked here's, like it, didn't it? Yes, here's the play the ball. There's nothing going to happen here. That's the halfway mark. There's Graham now. He kicked it with, a, with his shin, I think. <laughs> Kicked it with his shin, and here's uh, John Adam coming through. Watch this pass from Adam back on the inside. He just throws it and hopes. <laughs> yes. Picks up Luckman. That's Brockwell. Brockwell. Now watch the, the head-on will show the corner post. I saw a Newtown player indicate that he thought he took the post, uh, John Adam. Right, here's the head-on. We might have a better idea of what happened at the corner post from this angle. North Sydney away. Bad Here tackle by comes. Hetherington. Yes. And he's uh, done well. Yeah, he's got it down, down, John. Yeah, it's a try. Right. From the touchline, Alan Smith's kick is short and wide. So the restart now with the scoreline at 8-3 in favour of Newtown. 
Burns. Oh, he's gone straight through. Picked up in cover by O'Grady. Near the halfway mark. Akoi. Rockwell. Harris. McCaffrey. Akoi. Good tackle. Hetherington making up for the one that he missed on, um, on Adam. McKinnon. Just on the north side of halfway now. McCaffrey. Sigworth, the tackler. This fellow started the second half off in classy fashion. Alan Burns, the number eight. Here's Jerd. He's taken one. <laughs> Stands hung on to one. McCaffrey. Shepard. Arcoy. What's the case? Call him Arcoy. Arcoy. <laughs> Put down by Graham, oh, Mark Graham. He's having a miserable day out there. Yes, I uh, don't think there's any doubt that he, that he shouldn't be there, but Ron Woolley, the coach of North Sydney, claims that uh, his mere presence on the field inspires Norths, but uh, begin to wonder he can't pack into that scrum. There's no weight in there from Graham. He can't even bend his right knee. He can't bend his right knee, Mark Graham, now. He might be trying to get out of that test next week against uh, France for New Zealand, where he's named as captain of the New Zealand side. Bowden now playing it. Bugden. Oh, Stephen Blythe, can he turn it? He has to Blacklock. Blacklock has hung on, oh, they've called him back. Calling back deliberately forward from Blythe to Blacklock. A tough decision for referee John Gosher to make, but he was well positioned. Here it is on the replay. Good break by Blythe and uh, a good palm off. Held the ball up for Blacklock. Oh, I'd say the referee beautifully positioned. A half a metre forward. Arcoy. Oh, oh, my goodness, what a hit. It was a big hit, but he's up and off again, the Kiwi. Yeah, Fred doesn't know how to take a dive. I don't think a Sydney player would have lay there after that, and there could have been a player march. Good refereeing again by Gosha. Jerd now. Somebody said the Bears are off. They're not off yet. Down 8-3. McCaffrey. He got an ankle tapping tackle from O'Grady. Last tackle coming up now for the uh, the North Sydney Bears. McCaffrey gets it high. No pressure for Sigsworth. Watch out, he's off. No, he's not. They've got him 15 metres out from his line. Bowden. Man is Pittman. No change to your scoreline. 8 3 to the Jets. Sigsworth. He's seen an opening and it closed just, just in time. Arcoy bringing him down. Wilson. He'll find the line. Nine metres on the north side of halfway. 
those Englishmen that rated Arcoy as the best 5'8 in the world may have to change their ratings when they see Phil Figsworth. Burns, impressive second half so far. Oh dear, Jensen's good at that caper, isn't he? Well, he's ruled. Yes, North got it back, even though he allowed Jensen to do it. So it's North with uh, McCaffrey. Now Jerd. Jerd. That's a good run by the big man. Can't catch too well, but he can certainly run when he gets a go on. Oh, that's an awful pass from Paul McCaffrey. Yeah, good as gold. Now Alan Smith comes in on the blow. Oh, he's, oh, he's away! The Bears are screaming back into this game now. Well, that's the old chestnut move, the half to lock from the scrum, and uh, Newtown fell for it. I don't think I've seen a first-grade side fall for that uh, for years, but uh, little McCaffrey worked it with his with his lock forward. He ran the blind side. We'll see it on the replay, and uh, it certainly opened Norths up, and there's Burns. We just come in on the, on the pass from Burns to Alan Smith, and Smith raced away. Only coming to this game when Peter Parsons pulled out from injury and uh, certainly proving his worth here as he dives over for a try that should allow North to draw level. Head on. Well, it fooled even the cameraman there, as you can see. But this is a beautiful change of direction. And North right back into the game now. This conversion successful. That'll level the scores in eight all. We think that Mark Graham is, uh, has been asked the question. Eight all the scoreline. Luckman. North certainly lifted their game in the second half so far. They. Uh, were well outplayed in the first session, but they've dominated this session with two outstanding tries. <laughs> On the 22, McCaffrey kicks. It's a good kick from the youngster. Finding touch. About eight metres from the 22. I think that might be one of the reasons North are back into this second half. They're, uh, they're starting to win the scrums. They're winning by four to one in this second half. It certainly made a big difference to their game. That's one to Newtown. playing it. O'Grady. O'Grady. Taken by Keith Harris. Wilson. Sigsworth. Oh, Stephen Blythe has had a look too. McKinnon for North in possession. Ten metres out from the 22 line. McCaffrey. He's proving a slippery target at the moment, Paul. He'd be pleasing uh, Father Ken sitting on the sidelines watching this game. Here he is again. Now Keith Harris. Some of these big Newtown forwards are starting to walk. McCaffrey. His bomb is very nice. Pobgy under pressure. Oh, he spilled it and got it back. Oh, and he didn't really look like taking that Pobgy, and uh, he had a fair bit of time and spilled it, and it could easily have been a North Sydney try. So Ken Wilson will, I trust, show North the art of a drop kick here. 
Hmm. Not really. More of a stab kick. And Burns now on the 22-way line. It's Luckman going with it in five. North certainly got their tails up now. They look much of a better side as uh, Newtown, making many defensive lapses. McCaffrey, Jerd. McCaffrey again. Still not held. Oh, geez. Only a metre or so from the line. And here's Keith Harris, tackled by Jensen. Last tackle coming up for the Bears now. Can they put some more points on a grub from Arcoy? Taken by Newtown cleanly by Graham O'Grady. And a penalty to the Jets. Inside the five against the Bears. That's Newtown's first penalty of the second half, and they certainly needed that one. Eight all. Northern Newtown, 17 minutes gone, second half. Interesting to note in such a tight situation that North's had a game last weekend. Newtown had the rest, and uh, perhaps that little bit of match practice might enable the Bears to come home the stronger. It's certainly looking that way as Blythe plays it now. Wilson, Sigsworth. Oh, Pittman, and away goes Hetherington. Bugden's coming up on the inside. Takes the tackle of Alan Smith. Now it's with Blacklock. That man is Sigsworth. They're inside the North 22. Dummy half is Jensen. Now Wilson. O'Grady. Ryan. There's an overlap out there. Hetherington. Blacklock called him inside. Ryan. That's Steve Bowden. Brushes off one taken by Burns. Ten metres out from the line. Brian Hetherington, the dummy half. Ken Wilson. Eleven metres out now. Tackle number five and Wilson's playing the ball, but O'Grady can kick. O'Grady may bomb here. No, it's the pass to Sigsworth. Now to Blacklock. And then to PUBG. PUBG turns it on the inside. Blacklock to Ferguson. Very quick pair of hands there. Good defence by Norths. A very quick pair of hands displayed by Ray Blacklock. Steve Mayo coming on for North Sydney. He's had his first game back today from a knee injury. Played very strongly in the reserve grade. Here's the replay of the quick hands from, from Blacklock to Ferguson. That North defence swarming in there. Mayo on. Mark Graham off. Well, he's persisted, if nothing else, Mark Graham. Yes, he has. I think he uh, probably stayed on at the request of his coach. There's Ron Willie gone to the sideline to uh, thank Graham for his effort against the odds. Oh, the scrum has flared up and O'Grady has tackled nine metres out from the line. But the punches are flying in there. The punches are really flying. As a matter of fact, these two sides were responsible for a disgraceful argument in an Amco Cup match many years ago. That scrum absolutely erupted. Well, here's the scrum. Watch it. It sort of comes up as though somebody's driven a big, big pole up the middle of it. Watch this. All of a sudden, the boys become a little bit dissatisfied with proceedings. Bowden with a swinging right, and then it... There's McKinnon now, and he ends up on the bottom of all this at the end of it. Number 13. Ken Wilson says, I'll oh, play boy. football. Well, now, Gosh has worked all this out and given a penalty to Newtown. And it was foul play, which, of course... This is not now a differential penalty. Kenny Wilson on a 45 degrees angle. 22 line, 10 in from touch. Hits it. Missed it. Oh, gee, I tell you what, you're a gamer cooler than I am, Peter. They've just got into the field of play. A boot has been thrown to the heavens. Luckman tries to bring it away. Nine metres out. 18 minutes to go in the match. 
got a very keen pair of eyes there, the Golden Greek. Mayo, up he goes and takes them on. Bugden and Bowden in the middle of it with Jensen. A rake by Jensen. He's done well for his team today, but I think Steve Mayo might have it. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Newtown have it. Well, that's Jensen's uh, good luck. Sigsworth steps around Arcoy, who comes again and puts him down. Newtown, just outside the North 22-way line. O'Grady, Pittman. Pittman through one, away from a second, stands in a third. That's Jensen, held by Jerd. It's cracker night next week, and they're not Tom Thumbs in these tackles now. O'Grady's the dummy half. Now it's Wilson. That's Blacklock. Everything he's done today, Blacklock, he's been dangerous. Ryan. There goes Bowden. He's five metres inside the 22. Last tackle. Ken Wilson, a shot at drop goal. It's high, it's long, it's right absolutely beautiful the for the Newtown Jets. 9-8 breaks the deadlock. Kenny Wilson had all the time in the world there. Look how casually he takes this. Drops it beautifully and straight between the posts. Beautiful striker of the ball. Magnificent kicker, Ken Wilson. He's a caviar kicker, but no pressure at all from, New uh, from North Sydney. Uh, he had, as John Coots uh, rightly said, had all the time in the world. Bobgy brings it out from his own goal mouth. Hetherington. Strong game from this man today. Nothing in this match. One point in favour of the Jets. Knocked down by North. Wilson cut down by Burns for North Sydney play 12 metres Newtown side of halfway Bowden the man around the legs was Don McKinnon Bowden getting up gingerly to play it knock on by Jensen gee bad play last few minutes for Jensen that's uh that's two incidents around the play of the ball uh, that he's, he's lost possession for Newtown. He's got to get in there and win the scrum now. He's won it. Wilson, O'Grady. They were standing up flat Newtown, the backs. They were standing in a defensive line and O'Grady was caught flat-footed. Pittman. Well, we need a touch of the Sigsworth genius now. Sigsworth, Ryan, Blacklock, Hetherington inside. One point in favour of Newtown, 9-8. Penalty against North for being inside the five. Craig Ellis coming on for Newtown, and this boy had a wonderful game in reserve grade. The outstanding player on the field in the reserve grade game. He's coming on. I think Bowden will probably come off. He's appeared injured. Yes, Bowden, the man coming off. Craig Ellis on in number 24. A giant of a man. If you think Bowden's big, and that's him on camera, Ellis is huge. Arcoy. Now it's with Adam. Well, that was a bad mistake by Ferguson. When you think back, on the first tackle after a penalty, they gave up possession so meekly. And that's Alan Smith now, taken by Mick Ryan, right on the halfway line. Mayo. Newtown appear very disjointed in uh, defence. They're uh, bunching up too much now. Twelve and a half to go. McCaffrey. Taken by Ellis.
That is McKinnon. McKinnon! Pass along the ground. Adam can't take it, and I think, yes. Sigsworth's got it. Yes, Sigsworth has it for the Jets. Blacklock now. Struck four by Jurd. Six more. Sigsworth. Taken by Burns. Dummy half Blacklock. Wilson. O'Grady. Pittman. Five of the six Newtown forwards were outside of the acting 5'8", then Graham O'Grady. Stephen Blythe. Harris was up top. Mayo down below. Wilson. Ryan. Blacklock on the inside. Steps inside one. Gives it to Hetherington. Hetherington up to the halfway. Last tackle. Kenny Wilson's the man to watch now. There he is. There goes the shoot for line. And, oh, does he ever miss? Does he ever miss? There's the ankle of uh, Steve Bowden. Nine and a half minutes to go, and we're still standing by to play the big game for $500 in cash. McCaffrey. Down. Play on, says the referee. Played by Harris. McKinnon. McKinnon and Mayo making some good inroads now into this uh, Newtown defence. Here comes Jurd. Through Ritchie. Out wide to Adam. Turns it back for uh, Paul McCaffrey. He's got support. And it's gone on there. Great try. Or is it Harris? No, I think you're right. It's Alan Byrne. Alan Burns, the lock forward for Newtown, has picked up a three-pointer adjacent to the uprights. Here it is on the replay. Stan Jurd taking it up, and it was this Jurd pass. Round the back. This little man coming up right about now. That's Paul John Adam inside to... McCaffrey and a uh, good burst by McCaffrey. He found his lock forward right beside him and Bird showed a ton of pace. Ferguson went for him, missed him. Late on the side. Blacklock was the last man there. Well, Stan Jurd may have made some mistakes early in the match, but he certainly has made up for it probably with that one pass, John Coots. Yes, that kept it alive and it enabled young McCaffrey to make this brag, which I think was a telling one. Now, for $500 in cash, tell me who this player is for North Sydney. There he is. Their number eight. The kick. Oh, he's missed the kick. Well, Alan Smith has missed the conversion. That's a terrible mistake at such a vital stage of the game. A new town, Kenny Wilson goal can uh, level the scores, and uh, that's what the Jets will be after at least at this stage of the game. The restart. McKinnon to play it. Stan Jurd taken to ground. I'll give you the address for play the big game in just a moment at the very next break. Mayo, he slid the pass and Ellis has it for Newtown. They've got seven minutes. Jensen knocked it backwards, said the ref. Blacklock stepping and held now by Ritchie for Norths. A lot of panic set into Newtown and they really haven't got that rhythm they had in the first half. Bugden. Pittman. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of Sigsworth in this second half. Here he is now. Quick hands from Blacklock to Hetherington and well taken by Arkoy. Ferguson. Blacklock. Oh, Alice has put it down. North's in possession with big Don McKinnon. Jurd. Yeah. 
Richie. McCaffrey had an outstanding game, the little fellow. Certainly has. Shane McKellar on for Mick Ryan for Newtown. Very, very close to the last five minutes. In fact, five and a half minutes to go now. McCaffrey, a grub kick for line, hasn't found it. Pobgy has it for Newtown. Taken by Shepard and oh gee, he went close to that touchline, didn't he? I reckon that would have brought about his sacking very quickly. Ferguson now. Newtown with a, a last ditch chance. Hetherington, Gaste, Court, McKellar. Taken by Luckman. Newtown really not going anywhere in attack now. That uh, right across the field and actually lost ground. Hetherington, who's played well for the Jets. Wilson. Sigsworth across to Ellis. Oh, you're quite right, uh, Zorba. They're going nowhere. Sigsworth. And the end of their six, and they went exactly where Peter said they were going. Nowhere. We're inside the last five. North leading by 11 points to nine. The Jets have got the ball. That's their fullback, Pobji. Sigsworth, well contained. Yes, they need a break desperately from down that end of the field. O'Grady. The Bears, they can't lose this one, surely. Wilson switching it to Blacklock. Turns it on the inside to Pittman. I fancy that's where the Bears want them to come at the moment. Is up the centre, the chip by Wilson. Sigsworth has raked it back and Wilson has Six possession. More. Is it? Yes. Six more to go. 15 metres, their own side of halfway. Here's Ferguson. And he's taken by Shepard. Jurd goes in late. The Jets, Jensen going up close to that touchline. They're four metres into North Territory now. Wilson, Sigsworth. Oh, Sigsworth has made a monumental error. For $500 in cash, the address to send your entry, Post Office Box 144, Post Office Box 144, North Ride. Simply name the North's number eight, who scored what probably will be their match-winning try. And you could win, as I said, $500 cash or the Mazda 323 from Tynan Mazda at Sylvania. Hetherington. Ten metres on to north side of the halfway. The Bears in front and hanging on. Shane McKellar. And they've got to watch a penalty in this area now. We'll give Newtown a draw. Ten metres. Out from the quarterway line, from Wilson to Sigsworth, a pop of the ball to Ellis, a quick ball to Blacklock. Oh, Ferguson! Oh my God, he knows where he is. He didn't even look then and just threw it and he gave it to him. He did not. I thought it was a shade <laughs> forward into the bargain. Here's Ellis again, this huge man, throwing himself into centre field. Haggle number five now. What will Ken Wilson do? He's gone blindside. Now he puts a kick up in the air. The pressure was on. Oh, Smith has taken it and well, taken, taken over the Alan ball Smith. line. Oh, great yeah. take by Smith. Take it, wasn't it? He leapt up, took it at the apex of his curve and held on to it. By the same token, what a, what a beautiful little kick it was from Ken Wilson. It was lobbed in there with the utmost precision. Really, down 8-0 at halftime. They deserve this victory. There's the dropout. Pobgy will bring it back. We're well inside the last five. I think there must be only a matter of seconds remaining. One minute at the outside, we think. That man is Jensen. He's 15 from the line. Blythe wants the bomb in the air, I think. Off he goes himself, the axe. He's tackled 10 metres out. 
The Bears hanging on. They're and two in front. Jensen. Oh, knocked down by North Sam. They've got possession. Scrum to go down. So the knock-on made by Alan Burns. Sam Burns has been something of a hero. Uh, if he'd missed that ball, there was a try on the right-hand side, and he scored the try. There's Ron Willie getting a greyer hair with every minute of this match. The scrum is going to be won by the Blues, is it? No, the uh, the Bears have got it. Oh, gee, that was there for a Newtown player, and uh, young McCa uh, no, McCa number Smith. 14, Smith. There's the siren. It's all over, is it? Referee Gosher is like a statue at the moment. He's looking up. I think the players of uh, the North Sydney players have said the bell's gone. Newtown says it hasn't. The touch judge is coming in now. He hasn't heard it either. Well, I certainly didn't hear it. Now, Alan Smith says, what the name of goodness are we doing? There's a right. scrum going down. Gee. Don't, don't go home. Come back. It's still on. What if Newtown score from this? Won't there be an uproar? Well, there's the ball in there. He'll give a North penalty. Yes. Let's take a pressure right off. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think referee Gaysher himself will have a <laughs> sigh of relief there because uh, that could have been a sensation had Newtown got up as a result of um, a mishearing of the full-time whistle that hasn't gone. So big Stan Jurd goes away with it. There it is now, surely. <laughs> and a swarm of children are over the fence. I didn't know the Bears had so many supporters here at Henson Park today. They've come from 8-0 down at the half-time break to get up and win by 11 points to 9.